when I came here, and I'm originally from Washington, D.C., I had, like, no children of my own, right? But I got to build a family that is appealing to me in terms of what I would ultimately have liked it to be. It's like 60% Latino, 20% African and African American. It's like 13% Asian. I mean, if you were to form your own family, I mean, what would that look like? And for me, it would look like what we have at Dub. My name is Susan Jensen. I'm the executive director of Downtown Aurora Visual Arts. Sometimes people call us Dava. We're a youth arts organization um, and that we work with urban youth. We have a balance between excellence in the arts and really um, youth development, which is basically social and emotional learning. And so we're equally as interested in kids and how they're doing as we are in any particular art product. The culture that we grow up in does not emphasize vulnerability, playfulness, mindfulness, and one of the few spaces where I can find that is through art. I really think that DABA has tapped into something special by allowing students and children to play and cry and be open and vulnerable and share their stories because literally anywhere else that they go, they're going to be told to do the opposite. It's about school shootings. Like, we need more awareness. What we're not doing is sitting down and telling them, well, this is the art process that we're going to learn today. What we are doing is constantly harvesting their ideas and their concerns and creating art projects around those, those issues. When I came here, somebody pointed out to me that it was between 11 and 14 that kids were making decisions about their future. That's a big responsibility. So if you can take that area, that time frame in a kid, young person's life and say, okay, we're going to inject all kinds of creative processes, then all of a sudden you come out with a whole population of young people who are very constructive in their attitudes and and have a belief that there's a better future out there for the world. More than just like job training and like advice on how to work with other people, it was like how you can make your voice heard in different, in different outlets. So it wasn't ever about creating artists, it was about creating young people that loved what they did and did it um, to the best of their ability, which was really cool. I've been a part of something that has been a vibrant, part of community culture for 20 years. I, I think the question is always how do you keep going and I think that um, for me being a part of an organization that is vibrant and engaging kids is something that I can't imagine this community being without. She's literally changed, you know, uh, who knows how many after 20 years, but hundreds of lives, probably in ways uh, that she'll never know because they don't necessarily come back to tell her, but many of them do. And I think, I think Susan is a great example of the difference that even just one person can make in the world. She inspires all of us. I mean, you can't just live in a very narrow, confined view of the arts. I think the arts are expansive in nature and that kids make you realize that. That they are here for just a short period of time and then they're off like fireflies. Mm -hmm.